What are you doing out here Manuel? I just came out here to get some fresh air. Don't tell me that, I know you are worrying about something. Dad, I know you worked very hard to become wealthy, but all I need from you is $50,000 to get started in life. Why don't you go out and get a job? I plan to look for a work next week. What are you going to do with the amount of money you are asking for? I am planning to run in this year's election to be the president of our country. Are you out of your mind? You are not as smart as those other politicians. They may know the issues more than me, but they do not know how to influence people to become followers. So how do you plan to get people to listen to you? Dad, more than half the population in our country do not know what a Republican, a Democrat, a conservative, or liberal party stand for. If I can ridicule my political opponents, and promise people free education, free health care, and all the things people wish for, they will vote for me. People are not that stupid. When they ask you who is going to pay for all the things you promise, what would you say to them? I will tell them that I am going to increase taxes on all those who are wealthy. Life is short, let the next generation deal with our country's debt. Please Manuel. You are my only child. I am not going to live much longer. When I die all the wealth I have will be yours. Do not try to be president of our nation. Dad, you promised me that when you die you will leave all your wealth for me. Did you make a will? Yes, I made a will this morning. I have it right here in my pocket. Can I see it? Not now. When I die you will have it. Thanks. I am sorry for being so forceful. Why don't you come with me tomorrow? I will take you to listen to my political opponents talk about what their parties stand for. Please take me with you, I want to hear what they have to say. What makes you so eager to go with me? I just remembered what a wise man said. People usually vote for corrupt idiots, and democracy is to ensure that they do not remain in power for a long time. When are they going to start talking? Be patient, they are going to start any minute now. Good evening everyone, in this upcoming election, I want to be clear with you about what my party stands for. I am in favor of lower taxes, because I want to encourage business, and let people have more money in their pockets to spend. As the head of my party, I would like to tell you what my party stands for. I am in favor of higher taxes, so that we can take care of social and economic problems. I am in favor of the right, to bear arms. I am in favor of gun control. I believe that there should be less government control of health care. I believe that health care should be under government control. I am in favor of a free market economy and less government regulation on business. I am in favor of government regulation so as to protect the rights of employees and consumers. I support the death penalty for serious crimes that involves death. I do not support the death penalty. I think it should be abolished. I am in favor of small government, so as to limit government intervention in business, and to allow people to pursue their own goals. I am in favor of big government, so as to look after the interests of our people. I do not believe that the government should take taxpayers' money and share it around. I believe in the redistribution of wealth so as to help those in need. I feel it is okay for gay people to love one another. However, I am not in favor of same-sex marriage. I am in favor of same-sex marriage. I am pro-life. I believe an unborn child has a right to life. I believe abortion should be legal. It's a woman's right to choose. I support the freedom of religion and the importance of spiritual values. I respect faith. But I do not believe only religious people have moral values. I support taking in immigrants into our country. However, I do not support illegal immigration. I am in favor of bringing in immigrants for economic reasons. I strongly support a clean environment. However, I believe that all through history, our climate has changed, and it will keep on changing. I am in favor of environmental protection, so as to protect future generations. I support limiting the role of the government in education policy. I believe in giving parents more control over their child's education. I believe the government should play a major role in education. Manuel, I do not want to listen to the two of them anymore. I am not feeling well. Come let's go home now. Okay. Dad did you listen to those two politicians carefully? Yes I did. Have you decided which one of them you are going to vote for? After listening to the two of them, I now have some knowledge about the issues. 
I will think about them rationally and deeply. Why? Because I do not support all of what each party stands for. A wise man once said that voting is a skill. I am going to create a checklist to determine which party stands for most of the things that I support and also represent my values and my concerns. Tonight, I have something else to think about. What is that? I have to think about who puts food on our table. Is it the business people or is it the government? Forget about that. You need to support me. People are so sensitive today. Can't you see how angry and divided they are whenever elections are held? The division among people will continue for a very long time. I see no need for people to be hostile to one another because things that are not acceptable today might be acceptable in years to come. Please give me the opportunity to become rich and famous. Now is the right time to promote the false promises of socialism. I know how to put an end to all the political disputes in our country. What do you intend to do? I know how to stir up the emotions of people. If I become president, I will gradually become a moderate dictator and take away the right for people to bear arms. Why? This is to ensure that no one can overthrow me and my army. You are a fool, Manuel. I will never support you because you are selfish. Your evil intentions made me realize that freedom and democracy should not be taken for granted. It should be protected. What's the matter? Are you okay? No, I am not feeling well. I feel like I am having a heart attack. I need to lie down. Dad, please do not die now. Give me the will you made. My goodness. You are dead. What am I going to do now? Let me see what you have in your pocket. You, stupid fool. You forgot to sign the will you made. Now I have to decide whether to look for a job or live off of the government for as long as possible. Hello everyone. This is Jagdishar Singh saying thanks for watching. Goodbye.